Just make some noise. Make some noise for Mr. Oman. Oman. Nah. That is in the building. Oman, nah. Come on. Everyone in the building. Put him up. That's crazy. You go to a room, everyone's with Oman. Oman. Nah, everyone's with Oman. Chunk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, nah, you know what? Money's jazz, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm over there. It's like Oman, Oman, Oman. I'm like, what's going on? So, uh, Mr. Oman, what's we've got on? you on the show. Yeah. And uh, you know what? It's been a, a madness. And the thing is, so, reason I wanted to call you on now, firstly, because, of course, you're the Mr. Oman Nat. We know you as Amun, of course. <laughs> From back in the day. From back in the day, yeah. Um, but Amun Nat has just exploded and uh, kind of taken off. And if I could put a name or an emoji, it'd be the rocket sign that you're doing trading, right? I try, I try. You try, you try, you try. So one thing we wanted to talk about with you today is um, the trading, lockdown trading, man. It's uh, become a thing. These two right here, Rajiv and, uh, and, and, and uh, Harv, they keep messaging me, and you know your brother-in-law as well, H, yeah? Yeah. This guy, bro, buy this, buy this, buy this, <laughs> buy this, buy this. Have you just seen this mad increase in, uh, uh, in trading over the last, uh, um, oh, over months. lockdown? So you know what it is, like, I always used to get messages about trading. Yep. And then if not now, it's people that don't necessarily want to learn, but they want to jump on the bandwagon yep. of the fear of missing out. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's like me. Like, yeah, FOMO. Yeah. FOMO. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I get people messaging me saying, I don't want to learn or anything, but can you just tell me what to do? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you know what, that's like the narrative these days. So it's like, you know, for us, like, you know, obviously I've been doing it for like 10, 11 years now. I always say to people like at least do like a good six months, 12 months of learning before yeah. you put your investment or your life savings in there. But these are people don't want to hear that. So I can't really do anything, but social media is insane. I've got a family that haven't reached out from India in like years saying, should I buy Bitcoin? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone wants oh, to buy Bitcoin. Should I buy Bitcoin? <laughs> uh, you should have bought it a long time ago. <laughs> Last year, at least. <laughs> should have bought it a long yeah, time Yeah, yeah, just buy ETH now. It's cheaper, bro. XRP, XRP's got a kill. Is, is, is that a plug, yeah? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, the owner of ETH told me. Plugged. Is, <laughs> plugged, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but it's Rajiv's fault. He keeps sending me rockets every bloody day. Rajiv keep, uh, half keeps telling me to buy stocks. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm more on the penny stock side. Okay, so cool. That, cool. But I'll be watching your videos. And actually, to be fair, we've known each other for a while, like on and off. but. When I first met you, you were just sort of starting off. How has that stigma of being a trader to being a... How have you coped with that sort of pressure of... Because the way I see it with the stock market, right, is that when things are good, everyone's loving you. But as soon as the, the graph starts going down, how are you coping with that pressure and all this massive following you got now? So stocks is like very interesting. Like the way I describe stocks is you've got almost like... Imagine like ice lollies, for example, right? It's a bit of a weird analogy, but... I started, you want to buy in the Christmas or December and you want to try and sell them in the summer, mm -hmm. right? People right now with stocks want to try and buy them in the summer and sell them in the summer. Mm. That's the problem. So for me with FX, it's a little bit more, you can trade it on a day-to-day -day basis. It's not necessarily there's a perfect time to sell. You can always sell, you can always buy. Um, so with stocks, it's a little bit different. Uh, you have to invest a lot of time into the particular stock you're going to invest in. Yeah. Uh, for me, it's a little bit more liquid. I can kind of get in and out of certain positions on an intraday basis. Yeah. Um, and it depends on the amount of research you want to do as well. You know, for some people, they want to do little research. Some people will like, dedicate their lives it to it. It's a big part, though. Yeah, of course. Yeah. The more research you do, the, the best decision you're going to make. And so, you know, as, as we're talking about uh, pandemic trading. Yeah, yeah, this pandemic is, trading. This is a good word to use. Yeah, yeah. Uh, pandemic trading is people that want to um, have the fear of missing out that have you know a few thousand pounds in their account and say how can I make this this into like a, a thirty thousand uh, pound you know target? Yeah, um, a few people might be able to, but they won't be able to do it for long. You almost have to go through that cycle of losing the money to really understand how valuable the stock market is and how to win in it. Um, I just think that people get carried away with that whole hype of the stock market. How are you like bringing these people in? and controlling their emotions because it's an emotional game right so for example like you know with, with what we've done over the past few years like we've never spent a penny on marketing mm. uh, maybe last like maybe like month or so we've tried to see, but before that for like six seven years we want people that already have maybe won or lost in trading before know the risks and then they come to us mm. they're the best trying to people trying to trying to teach or trying to learn it's people that know what it's like similar to you now um, but obviously, the lesson that you've learned, you don't know when you first started. No, that's it. Exactly. You've been through a roller coaster emo yeah, 100%, emotions, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. So, I like people that have gone through that roller coaster emo emotions and then have come to us afterwards. So, you know whose fault it is? I'll be honest with you. Rajiv keeps sending me rockets. 
It's the rocket emoji that's... Uh, it makes everyone feel happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, in the yeah. morning before he wakes up, he gets a couple of rockets. Who, whoever feels bad about a rocket emoji in the morning, like, every, 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 yeah. it's booming. <laughs> everything I'm booming. straight in the shower like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm seeing Bulkar, Sidhu, uh, Charka, everything. <laughs> but I think with FX as well, you know, you, you make on the way up and the way down, so... Mm. You know what? Every single market is, is, is different, and it's all about what you want to gain from it. I always say to a lot of people, you can enter any market, it doesn't matter whether it's cryptos, forex, stocks, whatever. Try to understand what you want from it first. People go in there like, I just want to make money. Yeah. But it depends, are you trying to make a monthly money? Are you trying to make retirement money? What's your risk? What's your yeah. appetite? How much are you okay with losing? Yeah. People never think about any of these things. And that's why a lot of people go wrong and as well. You, like when I kind of, like, I'm not even at any kind of high level. Don't, don't, don't lie, like, like, we know you've got 20 bitcoins. He's, he's killed, he's killed. He's top yeah, killed. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, it's my retirement. He, he, he owns a whole building. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stuff. yeah. No, no, nothing, no, none of the above. Rajiv but, Bahadwaj. <laughs> <laughs> Maharaja over here. Who's <laughs> <laughs> like, right, doing actually. it with you? <laughs> and the way is, it's not a get rich scheme. You have to put some, t what you put in is what you get out, right? At the end of the day. Oh, it's, it's, and, it's, a, it's a very harsh numbers game. And the fruits of life come from what you do with those earnings. And then you can maybe get into Japanese whiskey ahead. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I'm yeah. surprised I'm not having one right now. Well, you know what? Yeah, 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 so get around the Japanese man. whiskey. Oh, the whiskey is named after me, apparently. What, Jitta? No, it's called Nikka, bro. It's <laughs> it's small. I might be fair, bro. It's called Nikka. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to give you 10 slides, yeah? And I want to see who you're buying and selling. So you tell me who you're buying. And then, of course, we know who you're selling. So we've got 10 slides. Who's the first slide? So Biggie and Tupac, who are you Bro, buying? Be uh, very I'm, careful. I'm, I'm a very big Biggie fan. Biggie. Yes. Yay! 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 Okay, next slide. This is some issues. Are you, are you buying uh, Kate or, or Megan? Megan. Come Megan, on, of course. Come on. Megan, all right. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah, move you on that one. Next slide. Next slide. Well done. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, you know what? Everyone hates Audula. I'm not the biggest Punjabi fan, but uh, Audula. Audula. Musa definitely. Musa, five moves. Five moves. Who's the next slide? Uh, Boris or oh, are you buying, I don't are think you guys know who this is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell me, can you guess who's on the left? No idea who's on the left. Pretty Patel. Okay. <laughs> and uh, who's on the right? Boris, Boris Johnson. Boris Johnson. Johnson. Who you, know you, buying? What? you know what? Based on market economics, if Boris Johnson pulls his vaccine thing off, Boris Johnson. Ah, oh, Boris Johnson. Because he will actually get the you know what, again. I hate Everyone hates so, Pretty Patel. So, you know that's so, all. We're in his constituency much, uh, at the moment as well. So, she's uh, a pretty. Boris done a good job I when it comes to yeah, vaccines. Yeah, she's a pretty bad person. Yeah. Yeah. Boris done a very good job but when it comes to vaccines. You did do yeah, it. Yeah, but yeah, but he, he, he messed up the rest of it. Yeah. But next slide, next slide, next slide. Uh, who you who you getting? Uh, who you buying? This is an easy getting? one. I think this is going to be easy. This is easy. Yeah, this is easy. Who you buying and selling? This is easy. Beyonce or Kim? This is easy. I don't think this is easy. Go on. It's a bit like butter chicken or underbread. Like they're both really. Which one do you go for? I'm going to go Kim Kardashian. Like Kim Kardashian. Okay, okay. Who's next one? Butter chicken. Oh. Mr. Piers or Mr. Hang. I'm gonna go with Piers because he's got some good interviews. Right, you can actually like we'll watch his Pierce. content enough, like so he's regardless Pierce. of like stuff recently. Like I'd okay, fine. Who's the next one? Modi or Trump? Oh fuck it out! You, you know all. Oh. Oh. What do we know? Oh. Wow. This is like There's a setup. No way. <laughs> this is like a setup. Like either <laughs> way, you Trump in the back. Either way, I lose. Either way, you, yeah, you know yeah. what? I respect lose a person lose like who does. Good business, like I'm sure all of us do. Yeah, yeah. But Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Oh, Donald yeah, yeah. Trump. Oh, good Donald answer, good Trump. answer. That was, a, that, was, that was a harsh one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was like a setup. Who's the next one? Ooh. Ooh, Ooh. Ooh. who's Ooh. having it? You know what? I've got some really good friends that are, and, 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 and I've hung out with Joshua like once, twice, through some good friends, so Joshua. Joshua. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, come on, come on, Joshua. Man, Tyson Fury. Come on, Tyson Fury's the best heavyweight of all time. I think Fury, but. I love nah, Joshua, but Joshua Fury's a love that boy. Joshua's fit, innit? What can you say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, shit. I said that out loud. No, okay, so who's next? Oh! oh. <laughs> Are we having first business? time? GB! Um, he's oh, sitting right opposite you, bro. <laughs> he's sitting right opposite Come on, bro. Of course! <laughs> Yeah, I was about to say, Crypto I've brothers. never seen, seen this <laughs> before. Let me just go, I've never seen was, these two people before. I was about, I was about to flip a coin. I was about to the like, are the same, okay. man. Listen. Okay. Oh, hang on, hang on. That was the younger days, bro. Uh, hang on, your brother-in-law, let me just put this into context. Oh my I'm God, like, it's H. Is, uh, yeah, it's H, it's H. That's no H. way. So who are you picking now? Okay, now I've got to choose H. Oh. Oh. Otherwise, H's wife is going to kill me. Monica's going to kill me. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I love the Arabic desert look, by the way. All right, so <laughs> the next one, yeah? So this is the hardest trade you're ever going to do in your life. So, so, I, I don't think it's worse as like Modi versus Trump. Uh, no, no, it's worse. That's a setup. So there's two trades that you can keep, and there's two trades you've got to sell. All right, cool. So you've got to keep two, and you've got to sell two, yeah? All right, cool. All right, 
Play the next slide. All right, so there's... Look at the top left here. Look yeah. at that. Yeah. 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 That's just a big one. You know what? That one's like straight that. void. Like that. Like Watch that. games. Like that. Just remember who you're sitting next yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> John, remember the first time we met in that tent, the back garden in Newcastle, who had the best That's very true. Yeah, yeah, hang on, hang on. I don't think Rajiv was there, so... You know what? Can we get him another drink? Who are you buying? Who are you buying? I have to buy you. Yeah, come on. Because we both look really good in that picture. Yeah, yeah. After it looks that, photoshopped to me. I'm not even gonna lie. I think it should be a little like little competition to you guys. Like, <laughs> yeah, we'll well, are you gonna do me like that, bro? We'll put, we'll put a shot on the table. Oh, he got yeah, 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 yeah. In that case, you win. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yes, drink the shot. Yeah, you gotta drink a shot. Oh, oh, yes, got, drink the shot. I've got an I've amazing got the Japanese. Japanese. Like, you gotta do it. Yeah, 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 I got yeah, a Japanese. You gotta do it. I'm sorry. If you don't drink, like, I've got. I listen. You have to ask him a question. He's vegetarian as well. Is four words. Is are you my brother? Then you have to ask him, and then he has to do it. What's the shot? Yeah, of course. Wait, the no, you have to ask him the question. I'm a brother. No, no, give him the Japanese brother? whiskey. The Japanese. I've got one right here. So no. shout out to uh, Miss Bart. This, uh, That's empty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Brother, it's, <laughs> oh, it's, 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 it's like half full. Uh, it's full. It's full. You have to have the whiskey that you bought. Joe, you can top it up. Yeah, and the whiskey. Hey, bartender. We got the bar. So, hey, bartender. Thanks for reading my notes. This is a some caramel. You know, all these marks on the table are all by... That's a big shot that you just poured him. Right, yeah, guys. Hope, 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 hope you don't ask so you know what? Like, Cheers to sure. everyone at home that's watching us. The original Mr. Amanat hey. on the show today. Thanks. 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 Thanks.